Welcome back y'all, it is Bianca woke up late and we have another video and this is more silly news for y'all. I'm hearing some ridiculous things on the internet. Now I came across this video a few weeks ago and I just kind of brushed it off like, oh my God, this is just straight up ignorance. Why would I, I'm not even gonna continue to watch this clip. But I probably should have <laughs> because it turns out it actually got worse, right? I'm just gonna show you guys a snippet of the dialogue and I know how some people feel like oh if you don't show the whole hour and a half podcast it's out of context certain things just don't actually require context sometimes you can actually just hear what they're saying for two minutes and you understand that it's baloney <laughs> like like it doesn't make any sense and I'm not surprised that it's the same type of gentlemen that are making the same weird remarks like that don't make any sense like like what <sighs> this is why you should sleep late and just stop worrying about woke stuff woke culture and the people that are thinking that things are profound with what they're saying that they think they're reinventing the wheel or rewriting uh shakespeare when they speak like it's it's actually very ridiculous let's get right into it Akon, y'all. Her role is to support the man. I agree. The man, we are the kings and the divine of this universe. They, a woman can never compare to the man. They have to understand that here in America. The woman don't create life. They support the creation of life. Damn, somebody just broke that down to me. The yes. man is yes. who yeah, create yeah. life. Every I want to know who just broke that down to him and how it makes sense and how they were able to make sense of it. That women are here for nothing more than to support men in their worldly endeavors because men are the kings and gods. I don't even have a problem with that line of thinking because it comes straight from like a religious, a, like a, a Abrahamic religion and, you know, how patriarchy and things like that were formed. So I don't have an issue with that. I have no issue with men that believe in that or women that believe in that type of form I actually don't really care it's when you say things like what he's about to say I'm man we're gods we the ones that create life no to women I'm saying just so now we've crossed over to the path of now men are God <laughs> okay <laughs> whatever you say like black men have been walking around saying they're kings for long it's whatever you can call yourself whatever you want but now you're calling yourself God yeah, now it's getting a little bit weird, but I'm gonna let you rock. Let's keep listening. I just said it to you so, the other day. Y'all and laughing. let me let me give you an uh, an example of the science of it. A man right now. He's he's about to get scientific, y'all. Listen closely. Now can create life without a woman, but a woman can't create life without a man. Okay, a man can create life without a woman, but a woman cannot create life without a man now granted this has never happened there is no evidence of this ever happening and there's currently no way to ever make this happen but we're gonna keep listening anyway baloney if i wanted to create life right now without a woman i would just shoot my sperm put it in the incubator and just cool. give it nine months even maybe less with today's science and a, a baby will be born so according to the science of Akon, if he shoots his male semen, right? His sperm into an incubator, just an incubator, no real, no name of it. We don't know what this incubator is or where it is. If he shoots it into this incubator and just wait a little bit, around nine months maybe, that a baby will pop out of it. No woman needed, no woman involved whatsoever. <laughs> it's like basically magic, right? <laughs> okay. Oh, do that. So, men, we are the creators of life in actuality. That's cool and all, but I think whoever designed that system designed it for the act of the, the togetherness. Union. The union. <laughs> the union. One. Yeah. You see, when Joe Budden is actually making sense, and you know it's a cold day in hell. <laughs> like. 
Like, wait, what's going on right now? Like, Joe Bunnett has to, like, reel it in and just, like, try to fix the situation and be like, well, I mean, based on the actual design, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, but based on the design of and the reality, you need both men and women, right? <laughs> Y'all missing the point. And that's what, no, I, I, and that's that's what right. I was speaking Y'all to missing the point. Because so, what the point is, the men have no lost point. the idea of the... There's no point, Akon. You made no point whatsoever. The reality is, it takes both uh, male sperm, right? And a female egg, right? Because only females make eggs and only males make sperms. To come together... Within a woman's body, right? Because remember, this is not happening outside of her body. It's never happened. Probably won't ever happen. And if it does happen, I don't think it's going to be the same. But it has only ever happened in a woman's body. Ever. Ever, ever. Ever, 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 ever. That's the reality. It has never happened outside of a woman's body, right? What are you talking about? <laughs> like... You're so you because remember here describe he's living a dichotomy where he describes himself as a man he's God. So he can create life even though he hasn't. In in that sense of actually you he's even saying himself he can't birth life right he can't actually bring it out into the world he can only shoot his sperm into something else man made that doesn't exist, and then suddenly a baby will appear, no woman needed, but like. Last time I checked, and it's not to offend anybody, right? But to, like, I, I've spoken about this before when I spoke about war and the reason why most women or feminists or whoever and men don't really like going to war. I mentioned that this is a situation where, at the end of the day, women give birth, right? And if you impregnated woman and you perish whether it be in war whether it be a car accident whether you were poisoned you fell off a car you fell off a, a bridge doesn't matter if the father that impregnated a woman yesterday dies the mother and the baby continue to live right granted nothing else happened she doesn't get shot or anything she will continue to live now, if you switch that around and a man impregnates a woman and she's shot in the head, could have be at war, she could have fell off a bridge, she could have gone in a car accident. The mother and child will cease to exist, right? In 95% of cases, right? So when we talk about who creates life, I think it's a ridiculous conversation. We know the reality of what goes on when a child is conceived. Sperm and egg come together within the confines of a woman's body. That is it. <laughs> like, that is it. You can talk yourself up. You can talk yourself till you're blue about your religion and how you feel about the world and how you feel like things should be constructed and how things should go and this and that and this and that. There's still going to be a base reality. That's all I'm saying. Akon, ridiculous. <laughs> like... And the toupee's ridiculous, too. I don't care. I said it. I said what I said. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.